Welcome to WITS, I'm Kath, and today we're going to be talking about vision. Our brains are very clever, and they help us to understand the world around us. But sometimes, when we get to know our brain a little better, we find that it plays some tricks on us. This toy is called a thaumatrope, and when we spin it, we see two pictures as one. To make our thaumatrope, we need two pieces of card cut the same size and shape. Also, two pieces of string about 30 centimeters long, something to draw with, a pair of scissors, and a screwdriver or a nail, and some glue. What I'm going to do is to do two different pictures that will fit together. I'm going to do two halves of the same word, but you can do any picture you would like that will fit together at the end, like a bird and then on the other side a cage, or a horse and on the other side a rider. Anything you'd like, really. I'm going to do mine in two different colors. So I've done the word hello on my cards, and when you put them together, you need to make sure that one is right side up, but then the other one is upside down on the other side, so that when you turn them, they appear right side up. Now we need to put these together, so we'll just put a bit of glue on the back of one, put the other one on top, And then what we need to do is put a hole on either side. So I'll just get my screwdriver to do that. On either side. And then thread our string through. Pull it through and tie a knot so you have a loop. And make sure your knot's nice and tight. And then do the same on the other side. And make sure that one's nice and tight as well. To get your thaumatrope to work, you need to loop it on your fingers and then spin it. Wind it up so that you can spin it. Just wind the card. And once you've got it nice and tight, all you need to do is let go. We need light to see which is why we can't see in a dark room. What we actually see when we look at something is the light that's bouncing off or reflecting and entering our eyes. That light then gets turned into electricity and our brain interprets it to tell us what we're actually seeing. Because all of this takes time, we actually see an image for a short time even after it's gone. It's such a short time that normally we don't notice, but because our thaumatrope is moving so quickly, we see both images as one, because the second image comes before the first one has faded away. This is very similar to what's happening when we watch a movie. A movie is actually many still pictures that are flashing very quickly one after the other. Because we see the second one before the first one has faded away, and each picture is changing just a little bit, we actually think that it's moving. Well, I hope you have fun making your thaumatropes. And be sure to visit us at whatisthescience.com to tell us about all your great designs. Also, make sure you subscribe for updates. And we'll see you next week on WITS.